We're going on air in five, four, three. Sister Boniface is doing what any good sister would do with her talents, helping people. What have you got? It was murder. Congratulations on Sister Boniface. It's just oh. such a terrific series. Oh, thank um, you so much. And it, it upholds tradi the tradition of small town village detectives. And what is it about that particular um, character that makes these things work and makes these murder mysteries almost comforting? I don't know. I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that you're sort of immersed in this little bubble um, in rural England, you know, in the countryside. It's all very lovely. You know, there's, it's problem so it's puzzle solving. Um, which is always fun. Um, there, there, there are sort of morals in there and lessons in there. And, mm. and actually there's justice is served as well. And I think everything has a sort of a neatness and, an, and, and a very sort of neat ending each episode. She's completely fearless, up for anything. This place will be firmly on the map. But what if we don't want to be on the map? We'll need statements from you all. Yes, and um, blood samples. I hope you don't mind a little prick. I think it's very cool to show life of uh, convent nuns who are people just like everybody else. You know, they, they have emotions, uh, they have tempers, they might have a convict for a brother. You know, all of these <laughs> things, it kind of destroys the, the staid image and is, is more yeah. lifelike. Yeah. And I think, um, I mean, that comes from Jude. This is this is all Jude. I mean, Jude Tyndall, who created this character in the first place when she was writing on Father Brown series one, so many years ago now, um, you know, she based this character on a rather incredible nun who, and I'm, I'm going to get all the facts wrong here, but she was, <laughs> I, th I think she, she worked in the RAF. Then she oh. was, um, she ended up, training um and she ended up lecturing at university but in in in, in amongst doing 10,000 other incredible things and, and some of the stories that I've heard actually from people who've watched the show and said exactly exactly what you've just said that it, it paints a, a more well-rounded picture yes. of nuns just not as just nuns they are you know they, they they go out there into the world and they do amazing things I mean as nuns and I love those moments where we, we we take the time to see her convent life and who yes. she spends most of her life with. She's quite brilliant. And maybe those things are natural. I don't know. But what, how did you, what did you make of it? First and foremost, I suppose what struck me about her was her intellect and um, that she's always one, at least one step ahead of everybody else in the room, maybe 10. But at the same time, she also has a a, a naivety as well which I also rather like where she sometimes won't read a room um, because she's a nun and she's not that exposed to you know, yes. certain things <laughs> and so certain things will go over her head and I kind of like that um, it, it's quite a nice sort of juxtaposition of you know being very aware and then also not being in series one we see um her sort of ego a little bit which is also another sort of interesting take she's quite stubborn like that as well you know where she sets her mind to something she's like a dog with a bone and will not give up we've got an episode where you meet her parents and so you see a little bit of what's gone on behind the scenes <laughs> to get her to where she's got um and you know two very intellectual atheists actually um Wow. And you see where she comes from. And it's it's an interesting one. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad we did that episode, actually, because I think it, yes, it just gives you an insight into very early Boniface. The death scene is our ace in the hole. So please, let us make it convincing. That won't be a problem. Everybody. There's been another one. Suspect everyone, trust no one. She's such a well-rounded character. Uh, what a treat to play that. Yeah. As you said, the women play a significant roles and the detective that you work with, for once we have a detective working with a, an amateur who doesn't dismiss them. He, mm. he encourages her, her intellect and her skills. I really like that part.
it's a yeah. it's a really um unexpected friendship that they have and respect for each other there's sometimes remind I sometimes feel like we're sort of bickering siblings and then at other times I feel like we're just equal like work partners yeah. and yeah. but either way there's a lovely sort of shorthand between the, the two characters and an understanding and they really have each other's backs I love the way that Sam will protect um, Sister Boniface, you know, there's certain situations and he will, she is in in dangerous situations sometimes and yeah. he, he has her back. And so there's, yeah, as you say, there is a great respect. And I suppose also what's interesting is at a time in history where women weren't necessarily, you know, it, I suppose men were dominating that field of forensic science. Yeah. And so, I mean, not that there weren't women working in forensics, but you know, it was still seen to be a very male dominated, um, you know, profession, I suppose, and that she's respected enough to be listened to, actually. Um, yes, it's great. I'm, I'm really proud of the show for those for those reasons. Yeah. You know, when you're shooting, how do you balance uh, life and work when both are sort of all consuming? Yeah, I mean, that's the tricky one. And my other half is an actor as well. And so we're always playing this kind of, it's, it's, it is a, it is a, a, a balancing act. And we've learned to just be very good at making very last minute plans. The kids are, so my children are seven and four. But yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. And you shoot long hours and, um, you know, you're away from, I mean, I'm shooting, I live in London, but I'm, I'm shooting in the Cotswolds. So it's, it's not like I go That's home every night. Drive. So it's, yeah. it's a, it's a pull. Thank goodness for FaceTime. That's what I say, because then at least we can see each other's faces and it, it makes the world of difference. And then, you know, at the weekends, it's phones off, full on mumming it. Um, until the second I have to go back it's it's extremes but um yeah. uh, you know that's the way it is and <laughs> seems to yeah. be succeeding thank yeah. you so very much Lorna what a delight oh to thanks thank it's you. been lovely thank you, thank very, you so much. much lovely to chat lovely to see you see you for season three. Oh, fingers crossed wouldn't that be nice you haven't got a shred of proof <laughs> I think we have our motive for murder. Clever girl. Electrocuted, yes. How shocking. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah.